According to the website, County Health Rankings, in 2020, Cambria County ranked 64th out of 67 counties in health outcomes and 44th in health factors. Health outcomes are the length of life and quality of life factors described below. Health factors are variables that contribute to the health outcomes, such as health behaviors and clinical care. Philadelphia County ranked last on both measures in 2020. Union County ranked first on outcomes and Montgomery County was first in health factors. While these composite rankings can generate headlines, it is more informative to look at the individual health measures that make up these rankings. There are 34 statistics that determine these rankings for 2020. Cambria's sub-rankings on health outcomes were both were 66th in Pennsylvania in length of life and 59th in quality for health factors. The county ranked 25th in health behaviors, 50th in clinical care, 53rd in social and economic factors, and 57th in physical environment. These sub-rankings are themselves composite measures of 34 specific health factors. Okay, so the measure they used was Cambria ranked 66 in years of potential life loss. That's how they measured the length of life. Like for example, if this, this is the number of years, let's say before age 75, if someone dies, so if someone dies at age 25, they have 50 years of potential life lost. Okay, life expectancy, the average age one is predicted to live at birth was not included in the ranking, but it's still illuminating. For Cambria County, it was 75.8 years. No, 2.5 years below the state rate. No, but life expectancy by race. For African Americans, they fared poorly in the county. 65.6 years, which was the lowest rate in the state. Relative to African Americans in the state, they lived 73.4 years, and in the U.S., 74.8 years. 59% of African Americans in the county live within Johnstown city limits. Eight children were homicide victims in Johnstown in 2017. You know, Hispanics, they actually have longer life expectancies, you know, like 89 years, which is the ninth highest rate in the state. So, yes. So nationwide, Hispanics, they also have longer life expectancies than Caucasians or African Americans. Okay, maybe I will put this down. I'll just speak louder. <laughs> it could be hard to... So, so the premature age adjusted mortality rate is the number of deaths among residents, like 75, eight, under age 75, per 100,000. So for Cambria County, it was 455 per 100,000, the overall rate, which was fourth, the fourth highest rate in the state. The overall state rate was just 30, 359 per 100,000, you know, but the, okay, for African Americans, the county rate was 878 per 100,000, which was the second highest in the state. A neighboring Somerset County was the highest in the state at 958 per 100,000 for African Americans. So for Caucasians, the rate was slightly more than half that of African Americans. So for African Americans, it was 878 per 100,000, but for Caucasians in the county, it was 443. Okay, so clue to these Low life expectancy among African Americans in the county is provided by the rate of child mortality in the county. Okay. It's defined as the number of deaths among children under the age of 18 per 100,000 persons. 
The overall county rate was 51 deaths per 100,000 residents. That was only the, about in the middle, about the 26th highest rate in the state. But for African Americans, this rate for the county was 235 persons per 100,000 residents, which was by far the highest in the state. Only 20 counties reported child mortality rates for African Americans. Some counties have very small African American populations. So, okay. For Caucasians, it was only 37 deaths per 100,000 residents, which was almost six times lower, you know, but still ranked about 12th in the state out of 22 counties reported. So the overall state mortality rate was 49 per 100,000 residents. Okay, so, so child mortality is a big factor driving the low life expectancy for African Americans in the county. So the recent trends in years of potential life loss are in age, or in age adjusted mortality, premature age, and in child mortality for the county. Presented in Table 4, Figure 21. So only county health data by race are available for 2017. So, one of the, all right, I will read another passage. Maybe this is one of the reasons why this book has been banned by the county, by the Johnstown Area Heritage Association. Let me, let me find it. efforts to reform the Catholic Church. So in 2016, a grand jury was convened by the state <coughs> attorney general to investigate sexual abuse by clergy in the Altoona Johnstown Catholic Diocese. This was precipitated by scandals at Bishop McCourt High School that were previously discussed. The small size of the diocese congregation made it easier to focus for a the first state grand jury on this topic. So the grand jury identified 50 clergy, mostly priests, who had molested children. Grand juries previously convened for the Philadelphia Archdiocese by the local district attorney were later convened, and the remaining six dioceses of the state. Table 12 shows the number identified in each diocese in the state with the raw numbers and adjusted for the size of their congregation. Yes, the Altoona Johnstown was, diocese was by far the highest at 50.87 priests per 100,000 per 100,000 <laughs> con congregations. table above that shows that when adjusted for population, Algebra Johnstown Diocese had the largest number of offending clergy identified by the grand jury. This may be due to the 2016 grand jury being focused exclusively on this diocese, which had the smallest Catholic population in the state. In 2003, grand jury was in Philadelphia was run by the Philadelphia District Attorney's Office, which may not have the same resources as the State Attorney General. The 2018 Grand Jury was run by the State Attorney General and was focusing on the remaining six dioceses in the state. They found a roughly equal number of abusers in each of the other dioceses when adjusted for population. In response to the various Grand Juries, my former classmate at St. Clement's School in Johnstown, Sean Doherty, has come forward as one of the victims of the clergy. He has campaigned to get the statute of limitations on suing the church for compensatory damages for victims of abuse lifted in Pennsylvania. He also has campaigned for victims in other states as well, as, the, as, a, as well as at the Vatican. Dockerty and another class and another classmate of mine, Brian Samuel, met with the priest to abuse them. George Garchick. The meeting was broadcast on CBS News. He is now running for a state senate seat 
I don't buy Republican state oh, yeah. That was my talk. <laughs>